as an introduction to an awareness for standing, um, before you try the little piece of the process that I'm going to demonstrate, just uh, find a chair with no arms, preferably, and a firm surface where you're sitting on your roller, actually before you sit on your roller, and you're just going to sit and um, just begin to initiate standing in any way that you tend to do it. So um, just initiate your standing, come to stand, and then sit down. And if you like, do that a couple of times. So come to stand, take a walk over a little bit away, turn around and come back to your chair. And do that now. So just in your own way, come to stand up, walk away a little bit, turn around and come back and sit down in your chair and do it any way that works for you. Ask yourself, as you try it out, how much effort is there for me involved in standing? Is this easy to do? Do I have a habitual way that I tend to do it? Most of us do. And just give yourself a grade, like uh, super easy, a lot of work, somewhere in the middle, and just try that out. Because after we sat on the roller and just experimented with this process of positioning the pelvis, then we'll go back and try this again. So if you're um, at just at home, in the absence of any other of these things that I'm going to mention, you can take a towel, uh, probably a kind of a hefty towel, it just depends. And you can roll it up um, to where it makes a shape like this, okay, a cylinder. And then once you find something that you really like, you could put tape or rubber bands around it so it sort of holds its shape. This is a pool noodle, okay. Um, it's short, small diameter. It's a little squishy, so that may or may not be the right thing for you. These are two uh, PVC pipes with different diameters and cut to make about the size that it would be right for me to sit on. They're firm. If you had something like this, you could then, um, if it was too firm to sit on, you could wrap a towel around it and we're going to sit on them um, and that might work. Another option is something bigger. This is a rolled up, it's gotten kind of loose, but this is a rolled up yoga mat. So it's got a bigger diameter, it's more broad, soft, um, but you want to roll it tight to try that. And then last but not least, um, I think that a, a roller like this can really serve a lot of people. This one's a little narrow. I have some wider ones that work better, but the idea is it's like a half moon. And so it's much more stable when you sit on it. Um, and some people might really appreciate that. So there, these are some of the things, not all an exhaustive list, but some of the things that you might use to prepare to sit on a roller and find different positions for your pelvis in the preparation for a standing process. This short video is just going to introduce to you a, an idea about um, the process of going from sitting to standing. And that can be from the floor to standing, from a chair to standing. And, um, and a lot of times when people have become challenged with their ability to make this what we call transition, uh, from one position to another, then there are many things at play there and it is absolutely not just this one thing. But in this video, I'm just going to introduce one concept and that concept is considering what is happening with the pelvis when we're in the seated position. And here you can see um, a pelvis and this is the back. Okay, here's your sacrum, tailbone. This is the front. And these would be the leg bones, just cut away. And when we're seated, we're usually sitting right on those bones right there, okay? And those bones have a name, they're called your ischial tuberosities, but we're just gonna call them our sit bones. So we're usually making contact here. And you can start out um, by just sitting on a firm surface so it can't be too squishy. I love these. These are um, gardening pads for your knees and they come in a lot of different sizes. So sometimes I'll have people sit on those in a chair and it really makes it clear to you where it is that your pelvis is making contact. And 
we can start out in a chair by just considering like where are we on that bone and so this would sort of look this position is me i'm exaggerating but we if we're sitting way back on the back part of those sit bones then we're rocked back like this and as we begin to come forward 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 we're moving onto this front part right here and that is usually the feeling of going forward, face going forward, eyes going forward. Um, and we're going to use, I'm going to introduce the idea of using a roller, which can come in a, a variety of forms, to begin to allow people to explore this dynamic of preparing to stand. Before you do anything, you're just sitting there, you're kind of checking it out and saying, hey, am I... Am I forward? Am I back? You know, where am I on this roller? And begin to notice if you can roll your sit bones back behind the roller, on top of the roller, and in front of the roller. So begin to explore that a little bit right now and see what that's like. Allow your sit bones to drop back behind the roller, on top of the roller, and in front of the roller. And as you do that, as you try those different positions on top, behind, in front, begin to notice how that feels to the whole body. And in fact, what is happening to your whole body when you allow your sit bones to roll on top, in front? Now I'm in, my sit bones are in front of the roller right now. So if this is a roller, I've rolled my sit bones in front, okay? And as you roll in front, begin to notice how the rest of the body responds to that. Usually what we find is our sit bones fall in front. There's a tendency uh, for the face and the chest to want to open a little bit as if we might look up, okay? So taking your time to roll your sit bones back behind the roller, on top, and then all the way in front. And as you begin to develop that pattern, as you roll in front, allow your eyes to look out in front of you at something. And just in a gentle way, without an exaggeration, as your sit bones roll in front of the roller, look out in front of you, and allow your chest to just be gently open. And then experience a rolling back where you allow them to fall behind the roller. And as you develop that more, when your sit bones roll back behind the roller, just allow your eyes to look at the floor. It doesn't really have to be an exaggerated thing. It can just be a little. I'm showing you a little bigger to kind of get the idea in your nervous system. So I'm just showing it a little bigger so that as you're trying it, you get that full feeling. And for me, in a gentle way as I'm doing this now, as I roll back, I feel actually my knees uh, tend to move back towards me and come in a little. That may or may not be true for you. And as I go forward, my sit bones roll in front of the roller. Uh, my knees move forward in space. I feel the willingness of my face and head to open and look out. And just take time to feel the ease of that looking, rolling back behind the roller with your sit bones, rolling in front of the roller. And when you feel like it, take a breath and rest. Don't overdo it. You can pause at any time if you're trying this out. And when you come back to it, ask yourself, if I were going to stand up, you're not going to do it, you're not going to actually stand up, but if you were going to stand up, would you want to try to begin that movement when your sit bones have rolled back behind the roller or when your sit bones have rolled in front of the roller? So just consider that. Do it a few times and without trying to stand, ask yourself, hmm, how would that be? And after you've tried that, just pause and rest. So once you've just experimented with this rolling the sit bones back and in front of the roller, then 
Um, what I want you to do is you're going to pot rest if you need to, and then when you sit on the roller again, I want you to experiment before you do the next piece with putting one foot a little in front and one foot a little back. So your feet are on the floor and it can be a tiny little bit. See if, don't try to do anything except just try that position and ask yourself, uh, is it different? Like if you put the right foot in front, do you feel a little more steady? Imagine that you might stand up from there, okay? And just imagine, can I tell? Would I like that way or would I like the other way? And just kind of explore your foot position. I'm switching mine, you can't see it, but I'm just showing you with my hands what I mean. So try that now. And then after you've, you've figured out which one you feel most stable with on your foot position, you're sitting on your roller, you've got your feet, offset just a little bit in whichever way you feel most secure and most familiar. And so you're on your roller, you're sitting on your roller, and you're gonna roll your sit bones behind your roller and in front. And as you roll behind and then in front, feel the foot that's in front of you and roll back. And feel the foot that's a little in front and come back and notice if your foot is exactly under your knee or a little back. You don't want to have your foot out in front of your knee so check that now and put your foot either right under your knee or slightly back but you've got that front foot out okay you got the front foot out you roll your sit bones in front of the roller and roll back and as you roll forward and roll over the front of the roller feel how you can begin we're not going to stand up <laughs> don't stand up yet. Just feel how you can begin to get your weight in to that front foot. And can your back foot be with your, your heel a little off the floor? Maybe you just have your toe down on your back foot. So you have the one foot forward, I have my right foot forward, and I have my left foot just a little lightly, like the ball of the foot is down. And you're gonna roll forward on the roller, roll forward on the roller, and as you do that, allow yourself to look out into space. And look out into space. Notice if you have the tendency to want to look down, okay? And if you do, take time right now to, as you roll forward on the roller, and you roll, roll over the front of the roller, you feel that weight go into your front foot, and you look up. And you don't have to really do it. Just feel how that positions you for that transition. And this is just a, a one way to position your pelvis and begin to position yourself for standing. It's a little piece of a bigger process that I teach in Bones for Life, which really incorporates a spiral. And although it takes time for some people to learn that, it is a much easier way to come all the way up to vertical from a seated position. Keep in mind that sitting and rolling on the roller and initiating standing is just a tiny little piece of learning to stand effortlessly. And, but, however, despite the fact that it's only the one piece of a bigger process, by positioning and, and exploring the position of your pelvis in preparation for standing, even just that little bit may begin to make your transition from sitting to standing feel very different for you. So once you've finished with this video, then go back, sit in your chair without your roller, and just um, try without the roller, positioning yourself to stand and get up and do what we did before. Just walk over a little bit and come back and sit down and consider where you want to begin from and see how that feels for you.